Boomer. Nearby. Get old, especially when they fight like that. Uh, welcome back to another video guys. I've just made my way around the rock slowly this morning. I'm just setting up the gear, burlies in the water. So if you see me running around today with a half spooled reel, uh, the story behind that is um, Dial are bringing out new bait runners. Uh, they're called the Free Swimmer. They look amazing. I can't wait to get one and try it out. But uh, until that turns up, I'm just running the BG8000. Um, now, I, got, I knocked off work early the other day. I had, oh, I was about three o'clock, so I had a couple of hours spare to get around the rocks. And I, uh, I didn't have any line on this reel, so I quickly went to the garage and grabbed some braid and chucked it on and spooled it up. And I only got half a spool of braid on it anyway. Went fishing, got a bit of a donk on my last bait. I got the footage of the fish and the release. So I'll run that for you while I set up my gear. I've caught nothing but car wide. I was on my last bait because the cracking shit's about to go home and then uh, check this out. <sighs> Honestly, you've probably seen a rip in my pants, it's ridiculous, but um, yeah, can't complain with that team. I reckon that's, oh, it's probably seven and a half heading towards eight kg. Big BKK octopus hook in the corner of the mouth there, doing the damage makes an easy release for these big fish. Let's get the hook out of here. All right, let's release this guy. How's that, eh? Not a bad snap. I was pretty stoked with that. So uh, off the rocks today, as per usual, I'm running 60 pound fluorocarbon trace. And so that BKK Octopus 8 bar O's. I love these hooks. The big thick gauge hooks, um, which means they're really strong. These things don't bend. All the big snaps I've been catching, all hooked in the corner of the mouth. Um, I just I just do your typical reef knot. Six twists religiously, never do any less. Through the hole, back through that one as a lock off. Grab that end, pull your leader, don't pull your hook. And then a bit of spit for some lubricant, and then I put it on my teeth and just wrench it up. Now my thing with this is you pull it, if there's any movement in that knot, or it's not up, then you wrench it down with your teeth, again, check it again, if there's a little bit of movement there, which, which there is, uh, pull it back down. I'm going through a gap in my teeth so I'm not actually biting the line. My reasoning for that is, is if there's movement in it, and it's in the water, it's fully lubricated, there's more chance of it to slip. If you get it to that point where you can pull it and it's not moving at all, she ain't going anywhere. All right, let's put a big Mackie on and get our first bait out. Hoping to get a big snap, but it is southwesterly, so southwesterly, so I'm not too sure what's going to happen, but that's fishing, isn't it? Uh, pretty keen to get a panny and um, cook it up. There's a cool cave around the corner, so um, if we can get a nice panny, we'll cook it up. So let's try and get a big donk to release and a panny for lunch, eh? Let's get into it. It's a good fish guys, oh it's a good fish. Second bait, I couldn't even close the bail arm. Oh. I couldn't even get the bail arm closed then. Oh, this is a big snap. Big snap. Fighting between getting the bail arm shut then and trying to get the, trying to get the camera on. Oh my God, I was just holding the line in my finger then, but oh. Honestly, I was like, oh, I don't know. Getting a few little picky bites and I hate pickers. They just tear through your bait and I was just getting pick, pick, pick and then that picked it up and I couldn't even shut the bail arm. Nice big snap. Oh, second bait guys. That's one ticked off the list if we land it. Yeah. Well don't go under there. Oh it's charging. He's still going. All right. 
Keep the pressure on, he's hooked perfectly in the corner of the mouth like we talked about earlier. Bring him up into here. Oh, that's a nice snapper team. That is a nice big snap. Second bait. As we just spoke about, big 8 bar o BKK hook, perfectly in the corner of the mouth. That is the perfect hook set when it goes in and around that hard bone. That's never pulling out. On the Dalawa BG80, it's bait and stick bait rod. All right, let's hold this boy up. Oh, big wings out. Oh man, it's good to be able to come around and do this time and time again. It never gets old, man. Look at that. Never gets old, especially when they fight like that. This one was just on. <laughs> it's not a bad snap either. I just went to wind in my, my bait and he's on. I should have just been sitting on it. That's a good snap. It's nice. He's too big for lunch. Oh, pulling a lick of drag there. Oh, that's a good snap. You're too big for lunch, brother. People, I wasn't expecting that. That's a nice snap. Oh, look at that. That hook's literally just dangling in there. It was down his throat, but um, yeah, he must have just picked that up. I had a little bit of a run, and then nothing happened after that. And I thought, oh, well, why am I baiting? I don't think I've got anything on. And then as I wound it in, something came up tight, and that's on there. What have we here? Think Wakasagi. I think we'll give that one a go. And then well we'll just go give that one a go and then we'll and then we'll then we'll see how we get on. What am I? Oh you're kidding! Johnny! Johnny on the soft bait. Oh, oh, it's only small. Do I risk it? I'm doing it. Johnny on the softy. Yes. You wouldn't read about it. Honestly, when I first started soft baiting, everyone's like, oh, start soft baiting, you'll catch heaps of John Dory. This is like the second one I've caught um, since I've been soft baiting. On the wakasagi, I was like, oh, I think I've hooked something. It's not doing anything. That's a tiny little Johnny, but do you know what? John Dory catch and cook peeps. Any of you guys that aren't familiar with John Dory, crazy looking fish, massive mouth, just cruises around real slowly and just sucks in little fish, kind of like he has done with that soft bait, but phenomenal eating. One of the best eating fish in the waters around these areas. So, um, let's be honest, it's, it's not a big John Dory by any means, and it's probably not going to do too much for the family so John Dory catch and cook coming up. Alright. Going down there. Across to there. Up to you. Alright. I think we're gonna be pretty good from here. Alright I managed to get across that gut there and I've just walked around and now we've just got to the cave so welcome to the cave. Not a very big cave but it does go quite far back up on a steep angle I'll, um, I'll get in here it's hard so it might be a bit dark but um, yeah it's pretty crazy actually um, Jane and I spent the night in this cave one night we're doing the um, Tyra land based fishing competition and um, we brought we brought sleeping bags and stuff and it started pouring down we thought we were just going to sleep out under the stars and it absolutely poured down so we ended up in this cave 
and we made a fire and we slept in here and it was horrid it was uh had to dry all my clothes up the back and they just stunk of wood smoke the next morning we caught nothing and it was quite a dud mission but it was pretty cool to sleep in here um i don't know how much of that you can see up there but yeah it goes right up it's a bit of room um but yeah we're just gonna just go get some firewood um and we'll just make a little fire down here in the rocks in the uh, outskirts of this cave where it's a bit more lighter we can see what's going on and um we'll fill it up that john dory and cook it up hey eh? so we'll get into it Woo! Alright, little lamb base Johnny, let's fill it this up, get it on the fire. The fire's just burning down to embers now, so we'll uh, get the fillets off this real quick. Um, they've got some spiny bits that come down here, so we'll just start up behind the head. Haven't filleted too many of these, work down behind the, the gut cavity. And just cut in behind his head and down in front of those spikes right down to his tail and then just lift it up and, and follow the follow the bone bone line down it comes away in some funny little segments but um, that's just the way they are I don't know what I mean they come away in segments it's got these funny little segments but there you go two nice fillets we're just going to leave the skin on and um season those put them in glad wrap the cool thing about johnny's usually is you you have a look at what they've been eating but this guy's pretty small so i don't think he's been he's actually got an empty stomach because sometimes they've got just big whole fish in there all right we've got a big bit of tin foil there um whack these on still got the skin on Perfect. Garlic herb salt, it's unreal. Give it a good sprinkle of that. A little bit of black pepper, not too much because this is really tasty fish, so you don't want to overpower it with too many spices. All right, we'll wrap that up. Embers are all pretty much ready to go. Just like that. And it can cook away. Probably just give it oh, two minutes on each side and then that'll be done. That's looking done. We've given it about two minutes on each side because it's only a thin little fish. Pull that out with your hands. Oh. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. That looks mean. Alright, I'm going to serve this up on my little piece of timber that I found. 
real hygienic. <laughs> One of my bits of John Dory just went for a bit of a run, look. <laughs> it just toppled down and into all the ashes. Ah, damn it. Oh, I'll, I'll blow them all off and, um, I beg your pardon. I'll, I'll get rid of the ashes and then I'll eat it. All right. Just sit you guys down over here. Look at that. Honestly, for those that haven't tried John Dory, it's probably in my top three fish I've eaten. Oh, she's hot. And I think this is cooked pretty darn well. So good. It's ridiculous. You know, everyone when they do catch and cooks, they're like, oh, it's so good. This is the tastiest one I've done yet. And to be honest, like I always put the same kind of spices on because that garlic herb salt's mean. I don't even know if I've done John Dory with garlic herb salt, but it's more the fish. That's why I got so stoked when I saw that little Johnny come up because, oh, it's hard to beat a lunch like this. In the cave, around the rocks, after catching a big snapper. Solo too. A lot of people ask me why I'm always by myself out in the boat and around the rocks. If there's no one to go with, other people are busy, I just go by myself. I quite enjoy fishing by myself. Yeah, I'm definitely eating that one. I don't care where it's been. All right, peeps. Thanks for watching another episode. We'll do it all again in a few weeks. I'm going to finish this Johnny. Got a big walk around the rocks. So I'll see you on the next one. Oh. How good. How good. All right, people. I'm going to tuck into this one. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It always helps. Um, and yeah, like it if you liked it. You don't like it don't like it um but yeah thanks everyone for watching i always appreciate it i love the support i love the comments um we'll just keep doing what we're doing cheers